Praise the Lord, precious saints. Welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, it is time to stop worrying, wondering, and doubting about your future and start trusting in more each and every day. Surrender all your uncertainties completely this day to me that I may give you rest from all the scenarios playing in your mind. You must build your faith only on a solid foundation by hearing my word daily. Therefore, as you meditate on my word day and night, my child, you will have no doubt that I will work all things for good for my children. Have faith today that all things will work out. Yes, maybe not how you planned, but just according to my perfect will that I shall bring it to pass. I know every internal and external struggle that you have passed through and will pass through, my child. I became all things that you may be saved. That's right. So I know what it needs and what you need to strengthen to get through. That's right. All things, for I became poor to reach the poor. I became persecuted and betrayed to reach the persecuted and betrayed. I became hungry to reach the hungry. I became thirsty to reach the thirsty. I became abused to reach the abused. I became grief stricken to reach the grief stricken. I became a prisoner to reach those in prison. I became abandoned, lonely and rejected to reach the abandoned, lonely and rejected. I became a curse to reach those that are cursed. I bore your sicknesses that I may reach the sick. Yes, Yes, I am your king. No matter what you are facing today, remember I became all things for you and I know exactly what you are going through. And if you just call upon me today, I will answer you and I will pull you out of all your troubles. Trust in me with all your heart that things will work according to my plan and not your own. Yes, lean, lean upon me, learn to lean upon me, to trust Trust in me and to be confident in me with all your heart and mind so that you do not rely on your own insight or own understanding any longer. Yes, in me you can do all things and in all your ways you must recognize, you must acknowledge. That's right, you must acknowledge that I will direct and make your path straight. Always be slow to anger, my child. Walk in love and forgiveness. Yes, forgive others quickly that you may not only be free from offense, but because I desire for you to have peace in abundance. Forgive not because they deserve it, but that I forgave you of your trespasses. That's right. Are you a stranger to this world or a friend to this world, my child? For I desire for you to live with me. And in living with me, you must die to this world each and every day and all of its corrupt system. If you love this world, then how can you say you love me? If the world understands everything you do, every step you take and every move you make, my child, then you are not strangers to them, but you are a part of them. I have called you to be separated from this world. Yes, for remember, if you belong to this world, it would love you as its own, my child. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you so much when you truly live for me. Yes, you will be hated by everyone because of me. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved and receive the reward of eternal life. So no matter what life may throw at you, even today, my child, no matter how unfair life may seem, just refuse to play the victim. That's the enemy's plan, that you would take your focus off me 
and on to your problems. Therefore, refuse, that's right, refuse to be ruled by fear, doubt, and negativity. Refuse to quit. I have called you to be a warrior, and you will work through whatever challenges that you may face in this life with my help. Yes, you are already a survivor of many unfair things in your life, my child. Therefore, you are stronger than you think. And with me at your side, you are capable of achieving far more than you even believe. I will always provide a way out of what you're in or a way in to whatever you've been left out of, my child. Therefore, don't get impatient for my timing is best and is perfect. I've already got a set time to turn your problem around. Yes, I have a time for your healing and also your breakthrough. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. Are you a friend of this world? According to 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 to 17, it says, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it, but he does the will and endures to the end, shall abide forever. Hallelujah. The Bible also says in James 4, verse 4, it says, You adulterous people. Don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, if anyone chooses to be a friend of the world, becomes an enemy of God. Let's look at this closely. A friend of the world, which is a reference to those whose primary interests and involvements become focused on earthly things, causing them to neglect the spiritual. You'll find that a lot of worldly Christians will find it hard to fast. We've all been there, but God wants us to fast that we may not neglect our spiritual walk and therefore crucify the flesh. Let's look at this term, lust of the flesh, which means continually wanting to experience worldly pleasures instead of spiritual encounters. What do you desire? Do you desire a spiritual encounter from God? Therefore, the things of this world and the pleasures of this world will not be attractive to you. But if those things are attractive to you, then it is time to, you know, uh, 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 sound the alarm to say, hey, it's time to fast. It's time to pray. Let's look at this term, lust of the eyes, which basically means continually wanting to accumulate worldly possessions instead of eternal benefits and not making a covenant with your eyes. Therefore, according to Job 31 verse 1, it says, it says, men make a covenant with your eyes. Now, the Bible says that, you know, you shall not commit adultery. But Jesus came and said that, you know what, even if you look at a man with lust in your heart or you look at a woman with lust in your heart, it's the same as committing adultery adultery then we see the last three um the last three uh also uh the of the ten commandments but in particular it says don't be envious don't be envious of your of your neighbor's goods don't be jealous don't be envious of what other people have materially but learn to be content and also believing in hope that god can do better for you. So do you desire worldly possessions or do you desire the eternal benefits of what God wants in your life? Let's look at the term pride of life, which is continually wanting to gain the attention and admiration of this world rather than a personal relationship with God. Don't worry about the accolades of the things of this world. What's important is that we are pleasing God and our personal relationship with Him is growing each day. Therefore, let us carefully examine 
our lives in preparation for his coming. For to take lightly the influence of this world is to ignore the traps that have been set to lure people away from a life of holiness. And without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. See, the devil is very cunning and we need to be very much aware of his traps that he will bring about to bring a snare for us, to stop us from entering in to the kingdom. Let us pray right now. Heavenly Father, I pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Father, I come to you today bowing our hearts, asking for protection, protection from the evil one. Lord, we are assailed moment by moment with images everywhere from television, the internet, books and newspapers that leave us vulnerable to sin in every kind of way. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Surround us with your divine hedge of protection. Encompass us around about with your strength and your might. Let us and all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them and every singing a song of joy. Lord, and may your shelter be around us that those who love your name may exalt in you for it is you who bless the righteous and lord you will surround us with favor and you'll be like a shield around us heavenly father we praise you for your love and faithfulness towards your children we praise you for being perfect holy trustworthy a god that is bigger than all the evil we experience here in the earth we ask that you give us eyes to see when evil is before us hearts to hate evil and to desire to flee from its presence we ask that you would not lead us into temptation but deliver us this day from evil and to draw us closer to yourself we ask for the long expected Jesus to come quickly but we also desire revival to come to your church lord we ask that you protect our minds father the mind set on the flesh is death but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace oh god set our minds on you and let us not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of our minds that we may prove what is the will of god that which is good and acceptable and perfect help us to be in the power of your spirit to think of whatever is true whatever is honorable whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is a good repute for there is any excellence and if anything is worth worthy of praise let our minds be on those things and not of the things of the flesh strengthen us in the power of your might o oh god and dress us in your armor so that we can stand firm against the schemes of the devil we know that our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against rulers powers against the world forces of darkness against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places heavenly father we thank you that you are our keeper and you are our lord the shade on our right hand protect us from all evil and keep us and keep our souls and guard our going in and our coming out thank you lord from this time and forever we give you all the praise and the glory you will touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet bring revival lord to their soul revival to their hearts revival to their spirit today that their flesh may be subject lord to the cross of Jesus Christ as Paul said I do not desire anything anything else other than to lift up the name of Jesus and him crucified yes him crucified from this world and the world crucified from him that's what Paul said hallelujah so we thank you in Jesus mighty name we pray amen this is pastor robert clancy from narrow path ministries in perth western australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom 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 and if you've liked this utterance today we encourage you to subscribe on the youtube channel you can follow us on facebook go to our instagram follow us there also you may also go to our free website repentance revival 
ArpentRadio.com. Get ready because we're going to have the up and coming fasting in the weeks to come. So I've been contemplating on what would be a good time. So at this stage, it's going to be the 19th, the 20th and the 21st of July. So more details will come about that, but I encourage you to partake. And uh, from my family to yours, we love you. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.